Good afternoon, good afternoon and welcome to Pinhole Quilting. I'm very relaxed here, despite the fact that Christmas is imminent. And I'm just going to welcome a few people as we go live on our Facebook feed. I'll welcome a few people. Pete's just in the background. He's just checking up on any messages and anything. And we do appreciate this, as it's only a couple of days, well, Christmas is Monday, isn't it? So we're now Friday. It's only a few days before Christmas. Most people, most normal people, would now be relaxing or going frantically around the shops, getting everything they need for the family who are imminently arriving. So let me just give you a little insight into how that happened for us. That, uh, and I'm sure that Pete's daughter, Lucy, won't be watching this on catch up, so that's fine. Anyway, well, I thought they were arriving tomorrow. And so I had plenty of time to get everything ready. Now, we do have a very, very fair split of the... I think we have a fair split, don't we, Pete? I'm your commie chef, really, aren't I? I'm, I'm the one who, who does all the clearing up after Pete has done all the fabulous cooking. So I get everything ready and Pete does all the cooking. So this is all fine, except for the fact that last night when Lucy WhatsApps me and says, I think we should be with you about six or seven o'clock tonight, tomorrow. Um, hope that's okay. What? Pete, Pete, what's in the diary? Diary says Saturday. But diary does not say Friday. Okay. So, so things have been a little busy today. Are we ready, Pete? Yes, we are. We're ready. Apparently we're ready. I have no idea about the food because Pete's in charge of the food. But we've got, you're making gravelax and you've already got the bresseola that you've already been working on for many weeks. I have so. a few Christmas specials that I do each year. Yes. And we need to make some more mince pies. I know, that's, a, that's my job. That's my job with Pete's mince meat. So Pete did Delia's mince meat. Do you see how this works out? This works out really well because Pete is really good at cooking. It's not that I can't cook. It's just that he actually thinks about it. Um, whereas I, I'm always slightly vaguely surprised by the fact that I need to, to cater for another meal. Um, it's not in my, it's just not, I think it's hereditary, Pete, isn't it? Because your family's very into food. Yes. Very into food. My mother was a very good cook and my son is a chef. So there, there we are. It does yes. sort of run in the family. And when we say that your mum was a very, very good cook, it would be fair to say that in my mind, that your mother cooked one of the meals that is my top 10, I could eat until I died food, which was lamb wrapped in parsley and garlic, right? It's fabulous. Pasta. Oh my gosh. I, I, honestly, I didn't think I could stop eating it. It was just phenomenal. And I said, gosh, this is amazing. Where did you get the lamb from? And she said, um, Tesco, Tesco, just Tesco. It's what you do with it. It's how, what you, how you season it and all the other things. So anyway, I'm very, very lucky. I feel myself very blessed to have Pete as that person who is able to provide the most incredible food at Christmas. And he loves doing it. It's an excuse to cook. And by the time that everybody's gone, there's as much in the fridge as you'd have for a week's worth of food. But you see, having an Italian mother, the ultimate sin is to run out of food. So it is. It that is. never happens. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and I, I can vouch for the fact that when we went over to Italy last year to meet Pete's family, that I have never eaten so many courses in my entire life, including a tasting menu. So anyway... That is going to, so we're going to have, um, we're going to have a lovely joint of beef, aren't we, Pete? Yes, beef, rib of beef this year. Rib yes. of beef, rib of beef from, from our local farmer, right? Absolutely, so, yes. Yeah. Yes, no more than two miles away from where we e live. Exactly. So we've, we're very lucky that we have um, fantastic uh, prize winning Aberdeen Angus herd um, run by Katrina, who also has the Shepherd's Hut, which is a lovely little place you can stay up at Abbotton, which is a couple of miles from where we live and probably five minutes drive from here. So that's where we get Abbey from and also uh, quite often we get pork and lamb as well. It's a, it's a really nice um, thing to have when you, can, when you know where your meat has come from if you are not vegetarian. Right. 
Well, that's that's covered the the intro and a little sort of um, yeah. This is how yes. I feel Christmas is. Christmas is about chatting with people and catching up. And have we got so anybody you, online? We have. We'll say hello to people in in a moment. But okay. um, you mentioned the Shepherd's Hut, which is one of the accommodations that we provide for people. And when people come on classes, we also frequent a number of very good local restaurants, don't we? So this might be the time to talk about one of those. Yes. So one of the things that we do, if, if there is a, a class that goes over a number of days, as indeed there was earlier this year with Linda Jackson's class of Pro Stitcher and Pro Stitcher Designer, what we, what we do, because it's, you know, the thing that's lovely about running classes here is that we can get together in the evenings and go out to local restaurants. And one of our favorites is Bell House, an Italian restaurant in Pershaw. Lots of people haven't been to Pershaw, so it's a nice thing to be able to go into Pershaw and show people what a lovely Georgian market town it is. It's not, it's not very big, but it's a lovely little town. But sadly, uh, three days ago, in the early hours of the morning, Bell House had a fire and it's gone through all three stories of the building um, there's like a flat, I think, that people live in as accommodation on the right-hand side of the building, and it looks like it's gone through all three floors of that. And probably it will be closed for quite some time, and it's, it's, we're really, you know, sad for the people who run it. It's quite sad, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's very sad. Very new sad. Year. Christmas and New Year will not be the same for Bell House, so, um, yeah, we won't be able to get a Bell House... But we have some lovely other places, of course, that we will go to. But yeah, we um, we try and support the local businesses whenever we can. Oh, I better not squash me, my, my uh, speaker. Right, let's say hello to who's yes. online. So first today was Elizabeth Dunkley. Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. A very Merry Christmas to you, Elizabeth. I hope you have a wonderful time. Yeah. And not that We had a good chat up earlier this year, so that was nice. Good. Second on the list, not that it's competitive, is Isabel from Spain, who often watches us from Spain. Oh, yes. So probably you'll be having your main meal tomorrow evening. Sorry. On, no, it'd be Sunday, won't it? On, um, yes, Christmas Eve evening. Christmas Eve evening. I'm not evening. quite sure what the Spanish traditions are when it comes to Christmas. No, perhaps you can just let us know in the comments. Are you going to be having your celebration on Christmas Eve, as many Europeans do? Um, it's quite traditional, isn't it, to have a, a lovely big meal and then you relax on Christmas Day instead of having all of the, oh, where's the turkey? Right. Then we've got Karen in Anglesey who appropriately wishes us Merry Christmas in both English and Welsh. How wonderful. Well, how, can you read out the Welsh, Pete? Now, I do have a little bit of Welsh ancestry, but that doesn't extend as far as Welsh <laughs> language. But it's uh, in Welsh, it's yeah. Nadoli Llawen to ah, everyone. And it's on the card from Jackie as well who that was on her card wasn't it, it with was. the four spaniels so jackie um is also in wales so thank you very much karen a very merry christmas to you i hope you have a wonderful time with family and friends and, and also to, to jackie who sent us a lovely card you came back with the card didn't you because did. she did her servicing on her machine last week and jackie is a stumpy quilter um out in ponty Berham. In, that's sort of mid Wales, isn't it, really? West Wales, I think you'd call it. I think you'd call it West Wales. West Wales, it is. Okay. Also, Merry Christmas to Mary Jordan in Ireland. Yes. Another of our new customers this yes, year. Yes, absolutely. Mary, it's been lovely um, to, uh, so it was lovely to see you at the Belfast. It was the Belfast Court Show, wasn't it? Was. it? Um, and uh, yeah, have a very, very Merry Christmas. And I'm glad that uh, Derek was able to, to visit you en route to the other installation. So, great. And uh, happy Christmas from Jan Bevan. Oh, yes, Jan. Now, I am going to be in, I need to be in touch with you. Because we've got some servicing to do for yourself and Glenis and your other friend whose name I have completely forgotten. But it's on our list. Do not fear. I will see you in 2024. I'll be contacting you in the new year. Okay. And hello from Chris Hillier. So, Chris, hey. who's in Swindon. Chris, there's a bit of a hotbed of sudden customers in Swindon at the moment. Isn't there is. There? there very much is. And in fact, it was only yesterday that the lovely Mary visited from Swindon and uh, decided to go ahead with a pre-order of a Moxie XL with Pro Stitcher Lite. So congratulations, Mary, if you're watching this live or on catch-up. Congratulations to you. 
we look forward to uh, seeing how you get on with the new Moxie XL, which we're very excited about because it's coming in in the new year. It's got all its certifications and it's on its way. Yes, so just on that, um, we've had because we're shipping a big batch of machines we believe right at the end of this month so we should receive them at the beginning yeah. of january yes we've got a number of customers waiting for their machines to arrive uh normally we have machines in stock all the time but uh, we've had such a busy autumn that we uh, we're out of a few so if you're waiting for your machine expect it to be available for delivery by mid-January and that I think will also include the Moxie XL as well. Yes absolutely yeah we're looking forward to getting on the uh, the showroom floor so if anybody is interested in having a demo um, come along we've got a, a try before you buy um, in February and I should know the date but I forgot to write it down and I'm wondering Pete. I'll have a look in a moment. Hey, Pete will have a look. A so Joan yeah, yeah. Arnold. Joan. Hi, Joan. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas. Carol Watson. Oh, Hi, Carol. Carol. Carol, have a fabulous Christmas. And we look forward to seeing you at some point next year. Definitely Festival Quilts. Definitely the Newcastle Quilt Show. Oh, yes. New Newcastle Quilt Show, everybody. Newcastle We're doing New Tyne, just for clarity. Oh, yes. Newcastle on Tyne Quilt Show. And that will be in, Pete will give us the date on that as well. It's Newcastle Quilt Show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're looking forward to working here with Carol, who's got a moxie mm. with Pro Citralite and does the most amazing, amazing quilting with it. And I'm sure it's going to have some beautiful things on the go over Christmas and New Year. And somebody called Carolyn James, who's been making sausage rolls, mince pies, gluten free trifle sponge. I've never heard of her. Who's that? <laughs> I was going to mention you, the lovely Carolyn. Over 30,000 views of the lovely video. So Carolyn did this fantastic landscape workshop. I mean, the buzz in here, I did a video which sort of panned around the whole showroom, but the best bit of it, so you can watch that on our YouTube, but the best, or our Facebook, the best bit of it was at the end when Carolyn did this very emotional thank you because she suddenly got that hit of wow i'm so proud of what everybody's accomplished that's i mean if anybody's going to be motivated by teaching it's by having a group of ladies that were as motivated as that group were the creativity was fabulous you know there were boxes of different kinds of fabric different kinds of yarns carolyn had got her box i'd got my box and people could just pick these things she put together a fantastic pack of really creative um, fabrics to create these landscapes and at the end when she was saying thank you we've got everybody lined up for the photo the group photo at the end carolyn got all emotional she did and it was lovely it was very heartfelt and it's been viewed, I think, well over 30,000 times. 30,000? Yes. Wow. So Caroline also, also says that she's now mastered attaching the binding on the alarm yes. with the square foot. So yes. Great technique. I was speaking to a customer last week who says that she can do the binding on a decent-sized quilt on her long arm in four minutes flat. We should have like a quilt off, shouldn't we, really? <laughs> you know, have all the machines lined up and everybody go, right, ready, steady, ring the bell, go and see who does their binding the fastest. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. Yeah. I love the, um, there's a technique that um, one of our customers, Marie Suzanne, down in Bath, sent me photos of, but I haven't actually, I think it needs a video, really. But she actually does the technique where you, join the two ends of the binding and you do that on the machine as well which is pretty phenomenal um but you'd need to you'd need to see it i think maybe somebody can work it out carolyn there you go and hey hope you're getting on well with those extra those little products those little products that i sent you right, right. as it's christmas i'm going to name check a lot more people as well there's a certain yes. mark walker oh hello from worcester and happy christmas poorly, everyone poorly mark Mark has got man flu. Now, I don't think it's man flu because Mark isn't the kind of person that would just collapse in a heap going, woe is me, woe is me. So, yeah, Mark, I hope you're feeling better soon and um, have a great Christmas. And thanks for everything you've done here at Pinhole Quilting this year. It's been brilliant working with you. 
Thank you also to Pauline and also to our many educators and helpers that we have who help us at the shows and help us in the classroom to not only the the UK based ones but also to the people who've come over from the States and big shout out to Amber from Handy Quilter who is so much fun to work with and we've really enjoyed having her over here in the UK for Festival of Quilts. Look forward to seeing you next year and also we met up with Amber and also for, with Mark who's the CEO of Handy Quilter and he um, was over at Houston as well of course. So we love working with Handy Quilter don't we Pete? It's just a brilliant company to work with. Absolutely. And you know innovating with new products all the time. So any more shout outs? Yes. Let's shout them all out. Marianne in London. Oh Marianne! Marianne! I always think of you in Jonglers. Greta who's also been making trifle. Oh fantastic. Val Sabotsky across the pond. Oh yes Val! Hi Val, have an amazing Christmas. It was lovely to meet you at Houston. Judith Lane up, who says happy Christmas from Wester Ross oh, up in deepest wow. West Scotland. I yeah. was up seeing you about a year ago. You were. Uh, Judith, wasn't I? Happy Christmas. Merry Christ uh, happy Christmas. So just quickly. Yep. Uh, Lorraine in Northern Ireland. Oh, hi Lorraine. Hi. It was great to catch up in Belfast and I'm, I've uh, signed up for that email, which is the email for the artists that you follow. And that's been really interesting seeing her work. So it was really good to catch up in Belfast. And who else okay. have we got? Caroline Wells, who says, Happy Christmas and hope to see you in the new year. Well, Caroline, yes. I've looked up the date. If you wish to come to our Try Before You Buy, yep. that's on the 9th of April. No, there's one in February. Oh, is there one in February as well? Yeah. Uh, okay. Or if you wish to come sooner, seven, Saturday the 17th of February. That's it. Saturday the 17th of February. That's a try before you buy. So the format for that is it gives you a real opportunity to have hands-on on the machines. You know, it, what is lovely is the last time we did it, and we did something similar many years ago, but... We really love to have people come in and spend a bit more time on the machines. And then that gives you a you know, real understanding of what the machines can do. So it's four hours, it's 10 pounds, you get the 10 pounds back on the day, and we provide a light lunch. What's not to like? Come along, 17th of February, Saturday, get it in your diary. We'd love to see you. So Mark says that he's living on Lem Sips and Quality Street, which sounds like a good balanced diet. It does sound me. like a good balanced diet. Don't eat all the purple ones, Mark. Save me some of the purple ones. Rebecca Davis. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Happy Christmas. Carol B. Lee saying, wishing you all at Pinhole a lovely oh. Christmas and all the best for 2024. Oh, that's lovely. Because Carol upgraded this year, didn't she? She did. She did. And um, yeah, it was lovely to see her. And um, I think we, we, we saw Carol at the Festival of Quilts as well. I think you came to the festival. I'm trying to remember the last time I saw you. But um, no, it's brilliant that you've upgraded and I hope you're enjoying your new machine. There you go. Lots of things going on this year. We've had quite a lot of upgrades, haven't we? We have. Because, and that meant that actually we've had upgrades mean pre-loved, means more people buying the handy quilters and having fun with finishing more quilts, which is what it's all about. So, any more of those, or shall I, I just think, do Oh, a little... just uh, late to the party, Jill yeah. Pennell. Jill Pennell. Yes. In, he um, says, best thing I ever did. Had yes. a visit to come and see us and spent a lot of money. Brilliant, And Jill. she still says it's the best thing she's ever done. Oh, that's so lovely. No, it was, it was brilliant, actually, isn't it? Because, you know, whenever I think of Jill, I think of um, a European owl. Um, and Jill knows what I'm talking about. But, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Jill does the most amazing quilts, absolutely fantastic. And it was brilliant because Jill was one of those people who came along to our Quilts for Care Leavers um, event and got to meet other people from all around the country. That, which, that was a really nice event, really, really worthwhile. And, you know, those charity events, like, we haven't done something similar this year, but, you know, maybe, maybe we'll do something, something else. But um, this year, what I did, and I posted about it on, on the Facebook page, was the... Um, the group up in Birmingham that are at the Quaker Meeting House and um, we're showing, you know, we, along with um, some other people from the local Combatton Quilters, uh, Sharon, who's sort of running that little bit of it, she's very, um, 
You know, Sharon's incredibly motivated to help people. Uh, she used to be a palliative care nurse, so you know, it comes from years of being in that um, environment, I think. Um, and it's absolutely amazing. She's a, a tour de force, and she has done the most incredible thing by you know, rounding up some sewing machines that people were not doing anything with, second machine or whatever, they got a new machine. And those three machines are now up with the group, up in Birmingham, um, close to um, the Bourneville area, uh, with uh, some ladies who are refugees and asylum seekers, and just the incredible atmosphere in that group. I can't wait to go back in January, honestly. It was so good. It was so good. They were just like absorbing everything, whether it be the hand stitching or the machine stitching. It was so good. Um, and in fact, Carolyn, um, not Carolyn, Sharon has just posted about the quilts that they gave this week. So the group had been making quilts and it was to the Ukrainian refugees here in Evesham. And I, I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? A lot of quilters have been working for quilts for Care Leaves or, or Project Linus. A lot of people make quilts for, for, for people for Christmas. And it's just such a lovely thing to do. So well done to everybody who's taken part in one of those quilt drives. Now, talking of Birmingham, Lorraine Gray has posted, it might be worth just mentioning this, that she's just booked the Premier Inn for Festival of Quilts. Mm. So Festival of Quilts is worth a mention, and she's booked it at a third of last year's price. So if you are thinking of going to the Festival of Quilts, it might be wise to think about booking that and booking your accommodation soon and picking up a good deal. That's amazing that it's cheaper. Because I, yes, I don't know why it's so, so much cheaper. but Because uh, I booked it. I booked it the day. Yeah. Anyway, that I could. That's okay. What Lorraine has posted so first All right. quilts at the NEC Birmingham from the first to the fourth of August, twenty twenty-four. Yeah. Come and see the amazing quilts on display, and come and meet our lovely some of our lovely team. Absolutely. Yes, we've just um, we've just confirmed we will be there. We will be there. We will have a classroom, and I spoke to the organisers. They haven't announced it yet, but very soon in the new year they'll be announcing who the special guests are. And um, Agnes, that I deal with, she sounded pretty excited about it. So look out for that for Festival of Quilts. Um, I'm sure that they'll have um, some really good top-level speakers and lecturers, etc. And we'll have some exciting things to tell you about on that respect as well. Okay, I think I've shouted out to everybody. Jolly good. It's... So what happened in 2023? Um, I mentioned already about the landscape class um, with Karen and James, that was really successful and we've got another one planned for middle of the year, June, July time. Um, we've also, we did two days of pro stitcher with Linda Jackson, Handy Quilter Ambassador and Educator Linda Jackson, and two days of pro stitcher de designer that we ran back to back. That was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It was packed and we, um, there was so much to learn. There's so much to learn about the systems. But I think the great thing is, is that we're all at a certain level now, everybody who came on that class. And I certainly found it incredibly useful for the, certainly the one, the pro stitch designer to get started. It's real help. We'll be doing, um, we've got some virtual workshops planned for 2024. So if you're interested in coming to, I say coming, zooming in on one of those workshops, um, look out for those when we announce them. Foundation workshops, rulers and fills, and a special feathers workshop also will be run during the year at various times. So check those out. They'll be on the emails that we send out to you. In terms of machines, it was a year of consolidation really for Handy Quilter that the Amara family and the Moxie family, and we produced some, some brochures. Oh, I can, I can hear myself. I don't know why it started. This is the, um, the brochure. Um, that we produced at, uh, for Festival of Quilts, which takes you through some of the different machines that are available in the Amara family. So that's the Amara 20, the Amara 24. Those are stand-up, movable long arms that can have a computerized system added to it. Then we've got the Amara ST, which is the, the biggest throat space sit-down that Handy Quilts have ever done. And it comes in the lift table, which goes... <laughs> It's really cool. I love it. I love the fact that I can go and it goes up and you can change the bobbin and you don't have to kind of go like this. Your hat would fall off for starters, but no good with your Santa hat on. Anyway, that's, um, 
that's by the by. But what's happened is that the Amara ST has really been, hit a, a really sweet spot with a number of our customers who maybe either don't have the space for a long arm or don't feel that that would suit their particular style of quilting. And so that's been absolutely brilliant. The last one I saw was um, not last, not this week, like the previous week, um, and uh, with Jo, who I posted on Facebook, and oh, she's already doing some absolutely beautiful feathers, isn't she, Pete? Um, she is really lovely. She's a very accomplished quilter, but obviously the pro stitch, uh, the um, Amara ST, is really, really hitting the spot. So that was the Amara family, ST twenty to twenty four. Then we've also got the Moxie family. And so the Moxie family now, I've got to redo my brochure because the Moxie XL has been launched and the Moxie XL, 18 inch throat space. So three inches more than the original Moxie. Um, and we can put Pro uh, light on the Moxie range. And we've still got, um, we had a little bit of a clear out, didn't we, Pete? And so, you know, some of those other machines that have been around for a while are being discontinued. I think, have we got any sweets left? I think we might have, yeah. One. One, one sweet left. So, um, yeah, so look out for anything else that we've got where we might be having a little bit of clearance, perhaps. We will be doing some clearance of some of our demo models. With, yes. Because, of course, we need to refresh our demo models to bring in the new yep. stock. So if you are interested in picking up a bargain on a number of machines, we'll have a few machines uh, at different price points, please email because then you'll get be the first to know as soon as we've got them ready for sale. Yeah. And that, that's always, you know, that's about just about timing that you, you're particularly interested in looking for a long arm at the time that those come up. But they can be a really good deal. So check those out when we let you know about them in um, the early part of the new year. New customers. We welcome so many customers to the Handy Quilter uh, stable this year. And we're delighted about that, both new and pre-loved. So if anybody isn't a member of Long Arm Learning Curve on the Facebook groups, do join the UK and international group. It's well worth joining. And I saw somebody had asked a few questions um, today. So Carolyn Clark says, don't forget me, because I think she's looking to upgrade to the Amara oh. from her trusty Avanti. But I don't think you're going to be ready until July, Carolyn, if I remember correctly. So it may be all gone by then. Happy Christmas, Carolyn. Happy Christmas. Yeah, so Carolyn was, it was lovely to see Carolyn. We saw um, Carolyn at Festival of Quilts and she gave me the most beautiful quilted cushion done with a, it was a bigger scale, I think, of pro stitcher design that had been scaled down and it's, it's sitting beautifully in my front room. So thank you very much, Carolyn. It was lovely, it was really kind of you. Now, what else? Um, Houston, we went to Houston, didn't we, Pete? And we saw lots of new things and we'll be introducing you to some of those things. But right here on the table now, there's some new packaging um, on the Handy Quilter rulers. I thought I should just show you these. So the Handy Quilter rulers will come through more and more in this new packaging, which I, I really like. Um, you can't see so much of the ruler, I suppose is the disadvantage, but rather nicely designed. Don't you think? Do you like them, Pete? Uh, yes, they're much more sturdy. Better for packaging, for sending out as well. Um, this one, for example, is... I think they've repackaged this, haven't they, the Kirby ruler set? Mm -hmm. There's two in there. There used to be just one. And this one is, I think, is really nice, but the, I don't know how much that one is. There's no price on it. Maybe it's free. No, it's not free. This is an app. This is brilliant. And I think this is incredibly good price. We had to double check the price, didn't we? I uh, we did. I did. Because yeah. the previous circle set from Andy Quarter was £95. It was. And this one is 60 something. Yeah, 69. 69 pounds. One, two, three, four, five circles, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. And if you use them with your echo feet, you can even get your halves. Yes, yeah, so um, don't forget, it's very Brilliant. difficult to do a good circle as a free motion quilter, and that's where rulers come in useful. Unless, of course, you've got pro stitcher when you can put a pro stitcher circle in yeah. place. But the, ni the nice thing about these, I mean, the, ha the ones that aren't solid, you just can't quite get the same amount of grip as on these solid ones. And having used both, I would definitely recommend 
getting yourself a set of solid circles. They're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And the markings on the handy quilter ones are bang on. Absolutely bang on. So the other thing that we had was, oh, the board. I mentioned the board last week on last week's Facebook. It's a board you can put at the back of your table. And also we've got the pole cradles for the loft frame. So if you've got a loft frame, um, I'd have better demo it. If we got, can we demo this? We'll have a look in a moment, yes. Okay, we'll have a look in a moment. <clears throat> so the pole cradles for the loft frame. That enables you to lift your front rail and out and put it onto the pole cradle so that you can adjust your wadding. Very handy. I definitely think if you're ordering a Moxie with a loft frame, I would get one. I think it doesn't come with them, does it? No, so that's an add-on no. for the loft frame, but the uh -huh. Studio 3 frame that is supplied with the Amara yes. has those built in as standard. Yeah, absolutely. Right, Pete. And hello to Alinda. Ah. Oh. Well, we should be able to say the same thing as, as um, Karen said. Nadolig Lawen. There you go. To you, Alinda. <laughs> Happy Christmas, in other words. That's uh, two, two of our... Um, our Anglesey customers, right there. Um, oh, final day, ends in an hour and a half, pretty much, is the Pro Stitcher Premium special offer. If you're interested in that, send us an email, because we'll be going soon, won't we, Pete? Because we're a bit behind because of what we mentioned earlier. Yes. Yes. So if you send us an email if you're interested in that, £500 off Pro Stitcher Premium. It's not Post-It to Light, Prof, pre, post to Premium, ends today. And I am in the process. I've just got all of the photos um, lined up to audition for my slideshow. So I'll be sending that out sometime next week when I've had time to do it because we've got grandchildren for five days. Five days? Five days. It's going to be lovely, isn't it, Pete? Two-year-old and a four-year-old. Two-year-old and a four-year-old. Wish us luck, everybody. Wish us luck. Um, luckily, luckily, they are lovely, um, and not too. They're not too difficult, are they? They're really not. We went on holiday with them earlier this year for two weeks. That was lovely. Um, so, yeah, we've got them for. I mean, the whole thing about Christmas is about the kiddies, isn't it? So, you know, you've got going to have two very excited little children bombing around the house at great speed and um, probably destroying it in the process. So that should be fun. Okay, um, so, should we show the loft? Yeah, we will in a sec. I okay. um, obviously missed some people earlier who'd been commenting, so let's say hello to them because okay. I wouldn't like you to feel left out no, at Christmas. No. So Yvonne Rowlands. Yes, Yvonne. Yes, absolutely. Hi, Yvonne. And Isabel in Spain replied to my comment about oh, yes. the Christmas tradition. Jolly she good. says that they will have their Christmas meal on the 25th. But oh. here in Spain, Christmas is celebrated on the 6th of January when the three kings deliver presents to the children. There is a wonderful fiesta enjoyed by the whole town. That sounds fantastic. Ah, it's so different in different European countries, isn't it? Yeah. Because I lived in the Netherlands for a few years and really the it was, I think, 12th of December, I think, was the... The big day was it yes. much earlier much earlier yeah uh eileen wall in west virginia oh, hello yes. eileen hi eileen hi merry, merry christmas to you and merry, merry christmas, christmas happy to christmas also judy strain hi oh judy judy i hope you're well and auntie too and david the hired help happy christmas to all of you and joe pike joe pike hi joe Yes, gosh, Joe as well. So Lots of people. Eileen in Virginia says yes. she'll be making a chocolate Christmas pudding to bring a bit of the UK to the US. Oh, that yeah. sounds nice. <laughs> we've, we've been having... Thank you very much to Pauline, um, who works with us and does the mail order and helps out from time to time on the classes and some of the shows. And Pauline gave us a chocolate panettone. Very rich, though. Very rich. You only have a small amount. Well, you can have a large amount, but it is quite rich. Okay, and anybody else? Trisha Lockhart. Oh, Trisha. A very happy Christmas to you, Trisha. All the best, and I hope you're feeling well. Okay. Now, I think the other people that we... Uh, that we... Um, 
sorry that we didn't say uh, Merry Christmas to and thanks to it's yeah. our engineering team because yeah, that brings us on to another subject as well doesn't it so particularly Blank look. Derek in Northern oh, yeah. Ireland does all of our installations in the north and the south of Ireland for us yes um, and is very well known to our Irish customers I think we we really appreciated Derek so much didn't we when first of all we massively appreciate Derek for the setup of the Festival of Quilts because quite honestly without Derek who has a, a large presence shall we say bigger than Pete and I and um, he's absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant at the setup and the breakdown but more than that in Belfast it was fabulous to have someone at hand who is you know he's he just bonds with people so quickly doesn't he and um it's been really great to have that level of support with someone local to ireland so derek covers both northern ireland and ireland and in fact i had a call from a lady who wanted to place an order and she'd spoken to derek at the festival of quilts and the reason that she wanted to order a handy quilter was because she knew that derek would be available if required, as required, to do servicing and installation and training and all that kind of thing. So we really, really appreciate um, Derek and and also the other people who help out from time to time and do various moving arounds like Paul and also Andy. Yes, um, indeed. As well. But we've been so busy with Olivia installations well. that we are going to be recruiting. We're going to be recruiting. So this is the thing. Pete and I are recruiting an installer and a service engineer based here in Worcestershire, but who will be able to go out and about and do installations, potentially servicing as well. Very much as we do at the moment, but this is a full-time position. So if you know anybody who's local, has to be local to here because there is quite a lot of work that we need done here at base. And as we've expanded and as we've taken on and we know we've done more and more machines over the past few years and we've had another excellent year this year uh, it just really um, re you know we just need to reiterate really that that is going to be something that will enable our customers to get a, a good level of support but we're recruiting so if you know of anybody let us know or let them know that we we would like to hire someone and we'll also be hiring somebody else on the marketing side as well so it's going to be a busy year in 2024 for pinhole quilting a busy year and hopefully we'll be able to delegate a few more things and the point is is in 2024 we'll be introducing more things to our product range and there's some exciting things coming up so we feel that 2023 has been a really busy year but 2024 with everything we know that we have um, and we think there are some great opportunities to develop this wonderful business that we call, call quilting um, and thank you everybody who's taken part in our Facebook lives this year and said hi and all that kind of stuff um, and has been part of it and part of the Handy Quilter family and the wider quilting family. We really appreciate it and it's just brilliant to connect with people who are creative and kind and giving and do all the other things that people who are quilters tend to do. So that includes some new joiners, Sarah yeah. Hankin. Sarah Hankin. Hi Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Oh, I hope you have a lovely Christmas for she, your family. She's been let off early from work, so is able to oh, watch us. Oh, great. Linda Jackson. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Linda. Big shout out to Linda. Absolutely massive shout out. You're an amazing teacher and we appreciate everything you do and the contribution you've made to Handy Quilter. It's brilliant. Thank you. June and Jane down in West Wales. I serviced their oh, machine yes. very recently. Yes. That was a lovely trip. Oh. Graham up in Yorkshire. Happy Christmas to you too. Yes. Happy Christmas, Graham. Happy Christmas. And Thank you, Graham, for your, all your help at the Harrogate show. And uh, happy Christmas from Victoria in Rugeley as well, who purchased her machine this year. Yes. And Victoria's doing some fantastic work. She was already um, sort of an award-winning quilter with her domestic setup. And she's already making some great stuff 
Hopefully you're going to be putting something in at Festival of yeah. Quilts next year, Victoria. Yes, the, I, I need to encourage everybody to enter some of the, of the competitions. Now, I did throw down the gauntlet and say that I would be entering a quilt, but actually I know that the group quilt that I'm taking, I've taken part in is probably going to be at Festival. I'm pretty sure it is. So um, I'm, I've already done mine. So what about you? Um, are you going to be entering a quilt in 2024? Uh, I hope that um, you are, and we're going to be encouraging you with some little hints and tips along the way. Okay, so we're going to do this little off frame thing. As I find, that means I, have I got to get up? I'm very you comfy can do if here. You wish. I'm really comfy here, Pete. Let's I, move I'm the just chair. having to move my comfy chair as well. Honestly, he's been chilled out over there. No, he's he's been working hard on the computer. I know, I know. Right, so <clears throat> we've got this pole cradle. Let's just move this. I'm glad I got my hat on. We haven't put the heating on, have we? No, we haven't. It's quite mild here. Yeah. So, so what we've got is this this setup here. Um, there are two different ways that you can set up a loft frame, high and low. And this is the low. Thank you. I was pretty sure it was the low. Otherwise known as clear view. Clear view. Yeah. Um, the good thing is is that the moxie comes with little stickers and it says quilt top and quilt backing. You put these on yourself. Backing. The moxie comes with these stickers or the loft frame does rather. Yeah, quilt top. Okay. This is a reminder which yep. fabric goes on which bar. And in this, in this particular setup, all of the cloth leaders go in the same direction. So in other words, it goes off in that direction. And so, and you can get an extra hand wheel for this front one which is quite handy, literally quite handy. So in order to um, take this out, I can... Do, 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 do. I can oh. So this is the eight foot loft frame, which is the standard frame that comes with yeah. the, the Moxie. Put that in there, making this look easy. And the Moxie XL, when it arrives. Why can't I get that out, Pete? I have no idea. Ah, okay. I'm trying to adjust the camera here which was at sitting height. There we go. So if I have my quilt top on, this would now, this is probably not the best demonstration I've ever done. No, okay. so here we go. So the, this so the is, pole cradle is this little add-on device here so that you can put one of the bars higher up, which gives you much more room to get yeah. your wadding between the bars. Now, I, this isn't a very good demo because this hasn't got the quilt top on it. That's because we float the quilt yeah, generally we here. we float it. But what would happen ordinarily is this is my, the black is my quilt top, okay? And this would be separated. What are the chances? There we go. Do think you heard me? So that would, <laughs> this would be like this. So when it's like this, I can then look at my wadding that's the key thing is the wadding because i don't want it rucked up and if i've got these pole cradles i can actually check that out and make sure it's not rucked up okay like that i think i might do a better video than when i just demoed it there but and these have a little buttons that you have to press in so you kind of have to hold it while you do that I don't think there's an easy way of doing that. Anyway, it does make life a lot easier in terms of looking at the wadding when you can get it elevated like that. So what you're doing is effectively looking at it like this. What wasn't helping is that we've actually wound this back. This is why I was struggling, because we've wound it back and it's been sewn. So there we go. Okay, that's my final demonstration of 2023. I think that's it. Pete, it's quarter to four and it's the 22nd of December and we're going to wish all of our customers a very, very happy and hopefully ha he healthy Christmas and a very happy new year as well. Because we're going to be going um, away, not away, but we're away off from work until 9am on the 2nd of January 2024. Um, look out for the slideshow. I will. Do, uh, we don't work, but we work. 
um, I'll be putting that together and sending that out. So look out for a little email from us. I hope it provides a little bit of entertainment. There's some nice photos in there that sort of summarize our year. Um, but our year wouldn't be the same without you. So thank you each and every one of you for participating um, in these Facebook Lives um, or watching it on YouTube. Uh, on YouTube. And we hope that uh, you have some really exciting